Okay, in this video we talk about Star Trek Picard Episode 9, which is part one of the finale after this. Hello out there, I'm the oldest nerd, and I am not exactly working from home, but but kind of jumping back and forth, so uh, it's it's been uh, kind of a, an exhausting week. We had a, a wonderful vacation, and uh, if I can, I'll uh, throw some uh, a video of a uh, rafting trip that we had in Jamaica here, uh, but uh, we um, have had uh, kind of a... a a week getting back into the swing of things and uh, in addition to things that have to be caught up on uh, there's this whole um, thing that's been in the news that's uh, kind of affected everybody and so uh, we're about halfway working from home and we're halfway working at work and uh, right now it's uh, all kind of confusing uh, if I'm hoping you're doing okay I'm, I'm certainly uh, concerned that uh, all of uh, the people, all our fellow nerds, are are doing well. Uh, we have no problems in our household. We're all doing just fine. So uh, far, so good. Uh, let's uh, let's talk about uh, Picard's episode nine, which is called "Et in Arcadia Ego," and uh, this is the title of a 17th century painting by Poussin. And uh, in that painting, it depicts a um, utopian society in which uh, there are people that are looking over a grave marker. Uh, it is um, an instance that even in paradise, death exists. And so this is kind of what is going around the whole of this episode, uh, very interestingly titled. And... Um, on top of that, the uh, planet that they go to, Capellius, uh, comes from a 19th century short story uh, about uh, making mechanical people uh, out of clockwork in the case of the short story. But uh, rather interesting um, subtleties that they're pulling uh, toward on this. A um, couple of things in here. We, we meet, uh, of course, uh, Alton Sung who is the son of Ninian Sung. This is a long tradition in Star Trek, it seems, to where main characters have uh, relatives we've never heard of that have never been mentioned, but uh, they tend to pop up when convenient. Uh, also played by Brent Spiner, which is always good to see. Um, we're not sure exactly whether he's a good guy or a bad guy, he's, uh, of course, kind of siding with the synths, and why wouldn't he be? But uh, we're not quite sure if uh, he is uh, totally in with the idea that uh, Picard and company uh, shouldn't be obliterated by the oncoming onslaught. Uh, we'll find out in part two some more about that. Um Interestingly, about Alton Sung, he is kind of the opposite of Data, where Data was an android who wanted to be human. Uh, Sung is a human that wants to be an android. He wants to uh, have um, eternal life, and and using the android in order to the the android technology in order to put his mind into it. That was what he was working on. That he shows Picard and company. Uh, this is similar to a TNG episode, and I don't remember uh, where uh, this fellow, uh, the scientist, occupies data for a time and uh, finally is um, convinced to get out of data's head and go into a computer. And his knowledge is there, but his personality isn't. So this is uh, uh, kind of calling back to that episode. I don't remember which one it is. One of you will know it. Um, he wants to cheat death. And... Picard has announced to his motley crew that he is terminal. Uh, it's discovered kind of accidentally as they make kind of a hard landing through a, a, an orchid type of defense system in which it grabs uh, the La Serena and drags it to the ground. Uh, Picard is 
greeting someone. We don't know who. That may be revealed in the next episode. But um, uh, when he comes to, uh, Agnes is uh, examining him. Uh, This is established in uh, the Picard book, which I'm currently reading, that she is a medical doctor before she became a doctor of robotics. So it follows that uh, she would know something about medicine. And uh, so uh, she is um, reviving Picard and uh, notice by the tricorder that he is terminal. This um, brain problem, which they're not saying is iromotic syndrome, but uh, it could be, uh, that uh, is, uh, is terminal. Picard says uh, to the crew that he knows about it, and he doesn't want any more made of it, which, of course, it is. But it's certainly in character for Picard to downplay his own death. He's con- had, had kind of a, a death wish since uh, almost the first episode, where um, Riker makes some remark of, until the bitter end, and Picard says, what's so bitter about that? The orchids, which are the defense system of this planet, and uh, one of my favorite lines in it is uh, where Rafi uh, says to um, uh, to Sung, uh, you wouldn't have 218, would you? Which uh, is the number of Romulan ships that are chasing them. Um, Rios mentions uh, tongue-in-cheek that they're going to Synthville, or maybe it's Raffi that says that, that they're going to Synthville, and uh, that is kind of on um, the line of Lost, where uh, they sometimes referred to uh, Otherton or Dharmaville, depending on what era they were in, uh, in Lost, of where the um, antagonists were living, as opposed to the people who survived the plane wreck. Interestingly, too, that uh, the La Serena has kind of a soft landing and uh, uh, unexpectedly, and and there are survivors of it that are looking for the people who are actually controlling things and don't know what their uh, motives are. And so there is that kind of link to Lost, and and not surprising considering who the... um, benevolent overlord of the entire Trek uh, uh, cluster of series is. Uh, Some interesting named androids, uh, yet another twin of Soji who is called Sutra, uh, uh, noting the uh, amorous overtones. Uh, She tries to um, make out with Narek and uh, releases him for reasons that we're not quite certain of. Uh, I have a feeling that we're going to see more of uh, Narek and Nerissa probably in um, the next season, if not just in the last episode. Um, one of the things that, that we're seeing upon Picard's admission that he is terminal is that this whole journey has been Picard's search for a purpose for himself again. He's been uh, in a 14-year self-pity party at his vineyard, and when he has a mission and has a reason and has uh, a quest, if you will, uh, he finds purpose. And by bringing Rafi and Rios along, they find purpose too. And in learning that uh, Picard is terminal, they're realizing that he did give them a certain purpose that they're going to miss and miss him as well. Um, Back in um, Synthville, uh, it's interesting that uh, all of the androids are in twins. This is almost like iMud in the original series where the androids were all made in duplicates except, of course, for Mud's wife, which was made in like 500 copies. Uh, We um, may think that um, Soji has uh, quite a few copies herself. At any rate, um, they throw in a few little Easter eggs like uh, Spot 2, which uh, is an android version of Data's cat, and uh, they show some people, uh, or some synths, uh, playing 3D chess with uh, uh, little updated uh, chess pieces on them, but uh, a little callback to other things. So uh, what we see in all of this is that uh, this is um, leading up 
to what's finally going to be the solution to this. Obviously, the universe isn't going to be wiped out by these synths, as the uh, prophecy has supposedly told the Romulans, which we find wasn't even intended for them. And we know that uh, the show is going into a second season, so uh, we know that Picard is not going to die anytime real soon. Uh, we don't know exactly where Seven of Nine and the Borg Cube is going to figure into this, but I have a feeling that there is going to be some kind of sneaky Borg technology to uh, help them get out of this pickle that they're in. And uh, it will allow them to propel into Season 2, which uh, I'm already excited about. What do you think of this episode? What do you think is going to happen in the finale? And let me know in the comments. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you know when the next video is coming your way. We have an exciting next week, and uh, we're going to uh, see what comes in from CBS All Access. Are they going to go directly into the second season of Discovery? Uh, we'll uh, have to find out. So stay tuned to the channel, and uh, until then, don't go far.